motivation, inspiration. It's all bullshit without taking action. International best-selling author, serial entrepreneur, tough love, no BS, high-performance coach with an attitude. Welcome to the Queendom, where we talk about proven strategies to scale your business and scale your mind for ultimate success. And here's your hostess, cash flow queen, Kenitra. Greetings and peace, friends. Queen here, another great episode that we're going to have this morning. Let's take a deep breath. Let's get into the present moment. Let's take a deep breath and get into the present moment. All right, you ready? Let's go. Yeah, baby. Switch that energy around. Make it flow. Man, I feel absolutely awesome this morning. Great, 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 great day to be alive. Top of the week, start of the week. Uh, Things are already starting out very, very exciting this week. Had a great meditation and yoga session this morning. I did close to an hour. Oh, my goodness. Feels so fucking good. Mm. Man, energy work is powerful. Only thing is, um, my ears are going in and out. Like they're kind of stopped up. I think I did too much astral traveling last night. (laughs) So my ear, my right ear, keeps going in and out. Like I've been at very, very high altitudes. But anyway, let's get going with this episode. uh, Because I got a lot of stuff to do today. So I want to uh, bang this out real quick for you. Um, some of you have asked me, you know, when are we going to get back talking about money and money making opportunities and blah, blah, blah. And I need money. I want money. <laughs> Don't live for money. Live your passion. Money will follow you. But anyways, we're going to talk about money on this episode. We're going to talk about Bitcoin money. Bitcoin, baby. Um. You may or may not be aware of my Bitcoin story. Um, I've been in Bitcoin for quite a while. Um, I'm considered an OG, an OG in the Bitcoin game. Uh, started stacking around, uh, what was it, year uh, 20, yeah, 2013. Yeah, 2013, started stacking. Started purchasing, accumulating uh, with my own capital 2014 up till today. Wrote a book about it, 2016, published it in 2017. Uh, it's been fabulous. It's been, it's been great. Uh, Bitcoin has allowed me to do a lot of my passions. You know, a lot of my passions with, with teaching about health, teaching about spirituality, about consciousness. Uh, so, you know, I give uh, respect, props, homage to the ancestors of Bitcoin the Satoshi Nakamoto team, wherever they may be. Some are resting in peace. All right, so anyway, let me talk to you uh, about the opportunity that uh, we have forthcoming with uh, my financial company. And we're starting to offer, in fact, you guys are the first ones to hear about this. Uh, I haven't even told existing clients yet. But... um, What's taking place? All right, so Bitcoin had went up to about 65,000 or so USD per coin. And then we've had a massive correction uh, since about May or so. And um, um, it dropped about 50% or so. So we're in this massive uh, correction phase right now. And um, another thing that has taken place is um, Bitcoin mining. Bitcoin mining, let me explain that to you real quick just in case you don't know. Uh, Bitcoin has 21 million coins that will ever be produced. It's written hard-coded in the code. Bitcoin is a proof-of-work algorithm blockchain. Bitcoin is the only purely decentralized blockchain 
and cryptocurrency that exists today. All right. So now with that being said, every 10 minutes, there's an algorithm that has to take place to match. I'll just put it in those terms to keep it simple. And um, it mints new Bitcoins and um, takes care of the transactions within that particular chain of blocks. Right. So now uh, Bitcoin mining is uh, pretty much a bunch of computers that are getting together to solve these uh, equations in the Bitcoin algorithm every 10 minutes. China had a large, um, um, I guess, accumulation, I should say. They had a large uh, percentage of the Bitcoin mining operations, the Bitcoin mining industry. And China, just over the last month, they have uh, banned all of Bitcoin mining. You know, China's a communist country, so they do things a little bit different over there. So now with that being said, it has created a huge opportunity for other jurisdictions to take up Bitcoin mining. And the United States is one of those jurisdictions that are uh, doing, their be doing their best to attract and accumulate more Bitcoin mining operations. And particularly in the uh, country, I should say country, Texas, uh, Texas feels that it's its own country. They do their own thing. But Texas wants to be <clears throat> a powerhouse, a mecca, if you will, for Bitcoin mining. So, um, like I said, I, we've been in the Bitcoin space for quite a while, um, consulting with clients, helping them allocate capital and all of that. And we figured that this would be a great opportunity for us to expand our Bitcoin company and expand it into mining. So that's what we did. So now um, we have taken, because um, or ordinarily, you, you know, you'd have to have millions of dollars at this point to create a mining facility, right? That's just where we're at. Um, but we have liaisons and connections with facilities whereby we can offer our clients Bitcoin mining racks and they can plug into these existing facilities and they can mine Bitcoin. Well, what does that mean? Think about an ATM machine, right? ATM machine, you go up to it, it's got money in it, right? You put your card in there, uh, uh, spits money out, right? Bitcoin mining, a Bitcoin mining rig, every 10 minutes, you solve an algorithm, it spits out Bitcoin, all right? So um, we're extending the opportunity for um, clients of ours, and I guess my podcast listeners as well, the opportunity to get involved in the Bitcoin mining space. Um, we've got rigs that start, at, start out um, from 10,000 U.S. Uh, and up, just depending on um, the type of uh, investment portfolio that you want to allocate towards this type of venture. You can purchase multiple rigs. You can purchase a minimum of one rig. And we will facilitate and take care of all of the intricate details as far as getting your rig placed into a mining facility, getting you placed into a mining facility where your, um, your electricity is not going to be astronomical. And um, yeah, it's just kind of like a plug and play system. So we're opening this up to our clients. Like I said, those of you on the podcast, you're hearing about it first because we haven't even um, put out um, our own internal white paper for our existing clients. Uh, what else? What else would you need to know? Basically, if this is something that you are interested in, I would tell, I would tell, here's the thing that I would tell if I had a 20 year old daughter, <clears throat> I would tell her, honey, buy as much Bitcoin as you can, stack as much Bitcoin as you can. Don't worry about the price, just stack it for when you get ready to retire. Any kind of way that you can stack it, whether it be Bitcoin mining or purchasing it outright. That's what I would tell her. And by the time she got, you know, to be 30, 40, 50 years old, you know, she's not worrying about money at all. 
She's living her passion. She's doing what she wants to do in life, you know, whatever that may be, and not having to worry about money. Um, the cool thing for me, I guess the, the, the blessing that I've been blessed with was that I did get involved early in Bitcoin, you know, so I can kind of enjoy the fruits of my labor, but I've got so much more to do, so many more projects. I can't just sit back um, and not do anything. I did that for about a year or two, but uh, yeah, that was cool. But anyways, um, the same opportunity exists for you right now, just listening to this with Bitcoin mining, because Bitcoin mining, the industry um, will last up until the year 2149. Now, that's when all 21 million Bitcoin will be mined, the year 2149. Now, with that being said, even thereafter, we still, as miners, protect the network by validating transactions. So, you know, Bitcoin mining is uh, pretty much an evergreen business, if you will. As long as Bitcoin is around, Bitcoin mining will exist. Uh, I just thought about one question you may have, um, and this is something um, that can take place as well. Say you buy a rig, you know, you mine for two or three years or whatever. Um, you, can, you can sell your rigs. Our rigs are built to last for about a decade. Right. So anywhere within that time frame, if you just don't want to mine Bitcoin every day and you don't want to receive Bitcoin every day anymore, for whatever reason, there is a secondary market where you can sell your rigs and we can help facilitate that for you as well. But anyway, if this is something that you're interested in. Take a look at our website. The link uh, is Prosperity Capital Group. This is my financial company, prosperitycapitalgroup.com forward slash Bitcoin mining prosperitycapitalgroup.com forward slash Bitcoin mining. All right. So hey, that's it for this episode. I will talk with you on tomorrow and we'll get into some more mind hacking. All right. So peace and unconditional love to you. Have a great day. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe via iTunes and Google Play for upcoming episodes. If you're committed to scaling your business and life to the next level, book a free strategy session with Cashflow Queen Kenitra by visiting the website, nobscloser.com. Again, that's N-O-B-S-C-L-O-S-E-R.com. Again, visit nobscloser.com to book a free strategy session today.